Three, two, one, and in. Okay, the install process is very simple and very typical. Uh, you just press continue there, run through the steps, you agree, and then you just press continue. And at the end, you have to restart the computer. Okay, so we've installed the software. Now, before we actually switch it on, we want to attach the calibrator so that the device is recognized when the software is activated. And we can just switch that on now. So once the software has started up, you can then select to profile my display. And it's a remarkably simple software. You've selected here your display. You click next. You just uh, select the type of display. In this case, we can stick with LCD. You've got easy mode or advanced. We'll just stick with easy for the moment. You press next. You can see now that we have the calibrator connected. You calibrate the device by moving the dial forward, as shown in the diagram. You press that little button, and that's now calibrated. You then move that back into position, and it's in the correct position. You're now ready to calibrate your display. You can move this in place using the counterweight. Place that cable behind. This calibrator has a good solid feel about it. And you now press next to move on to the next section. Position the calibrator so that it's covering the marked area. And then you just press next. And that's now running through the calibration process, which takes a few minutes. Okay, so we've run through the calibration process and now we just need to save the profile. We can take that one away. And you can see here that the profile has been given a name that makes sense. It's the display, uh, it's the color temperature. You can see that you've gone through the easy mode rather than the advanced. And then there's today's date. You could save that, so that's the name you're saving. That's now actually creating the profile for you. That takes just a few moments. Right, now that's saved, you can set up a reminder of when you want to be reminded to profile again. Generally speaking, four weeks is more than enough for anybody. And you simply go to the next section and you can see here a before and an after with a huge difference there. And you press next and that has automatically saved the profile to the right place on your computer and the profile has been applied. So we've, we've seen how to profile your display. Profiling your printer is a process where we use the same calibrator. We simply, you see here the process, we can create a new profile. We would choose our printer. We need to give here a name for the profile so that we know what we're looking at later on in the printer. That could be something like photo speed matte. So you would type that in there. So photo speed matte. And we would have chosen our printer, which at the can be that one. We go on to next, and then we run through the whole process of creating a printer profile. Basically, the software will create a printout, which you then scan with the Color Monkey photo. That then goes forward another step and creates another set of uh, target colors, which you scan again. And at that point, you save the profile for your printer. So that's the Color Monkey photo wrapped up and make sure you check out our other videos.